Well, this video series on servant leadership has been a huge labor of love for mine for a number of years now. I don't think there has ever been an issue as pervasive as this one at both the global macro level of global politics and global people mass movements and revolutions all around the world, I think, that have a common thread between them of a resistance to um, out of touch, outdated styles of leadership that are killing us as humans. We are sick and tired of, of for generations now, promoting people into leadership who were never servants in the first place and just asking us to deal with that and put up with that. And we're not willing to put up with it anymore. And these massive global shifts in the last 20 years or so are righting a wrong of the previous um, 30, 40 years or so where in all walks of life we have shot ourselves in the foot by having people lead us who are not leading us in a way that they would want to be led. And that's really what we're wanting. So from the macro global level to the micro customer service level, <laughs> where we are all day in, day out dealing with people um, in our day-to-day -day business of needs, our consumer needs, our retail experiences, where we are just amazed at how bad customer service is and how rude and how irresponsible and how cheap talk is on, you know, the company branding on the website to it becoming a culture in the organization. So at the global level and at your customer service level today, when you had to call someone to get something done that was a need in your life to insure a vehicle, to, to solve a financial problem, to call your bank, to buy something online, to complain to the airline about something that went wrong, it is appalling, is the customer service level because we are not served by people who are leading us in all these walks of life. And so this teaching series, this teaching video series is to give an overview and to connect the dots between that massive global perception I have of where this is showing up down to our daily experiences. And then I want to speak to you about five reasons I've identified in this teaching series, five major reasons that have contributed to the decline of servant leadership in the world in the last 50 years or so. Because if we can find out what's caused the decline, perhaps we can reverse those causes and create new causes that create and bring a new outcome for our kids and our kids' kids on this issue. So I want to recommend that you join the revolution. Join me and millions of others in the servant leadership revolution. I'm for one glad to be a part of it and I hope you will be too. I hope in my lifetime it's, it's beginning. It's slowly beginning around the world. I hope in my lifetime we will see a shift back to um, an era of leaders who lead us from a servant heart and leaders who lead from an in their shoes, not from their agenda approach to us in all walks of life. So servant leadership, it's an idea whose time has come.